Hello everyone, uh, I'm Vipul and I have Ant here with me who is a manager in Community Platform Engineering. It's a team from Red Hat who works on, wait, we have a slide for that. So who is CPE? Yeah, yeah. Yes. I'm Vipul, I'm a software engineer in CPE and I'll leave on Ant to start and then we'll continue. And I'm Ant, I'm an associate manager. So uh, yeah, first of all, who, who are we? Uh, so we're the Red Hat uh, dedicated team uh, looking after uh, the Fedora and CentOS projects when it comes to infrastructure and release engineering. Um, as you can see on the slide, we have three main parts. So we have the sysadmin infrastructure release engineering. Uh, we have our initiatives and ARC teams, uh, and we have our applications maintenance. Uh, and we'll talk more about those uh, as, we, as we go on. I don't even have to say slide, nice one. Um, so our, uh, our sysadmin infrastructure release engineer folks, um, they're there to ensure that the community can access the different systems and infrastructure uh, that's needed um, and to uh, to manage the releases. Um, we've got our initiative uh, and ARC teams. So they consist of dedicated engineers um, and admins for set periods of time. Um, to work on the initiatives and the projects that have been deemed beneficial uh, and important to, to the communities that we're part of. Uh, so there's normally sort of like three month periods for initiatives, uh, though we've, we've had longer, um, and two week periods for uh, the ARC team. Um, Vipal will be covering uh, more of that a little bit later. Um, and our application uh, maintenance folks are the ones that look after bug fixes, uh, new feature requests, uh, community development for the apps that CP are responsible for. So uh, keeping everything running is is no small feat. Um, over to you, Vipal. Yeah, it's always confusing on how to change the slides. Sorry about that. So Anne did mention ARC team, which is Advanced Reconnaissance Crew. Uh, the idea of our team so the our team works on streamlining the initiative before being taken as an initiative we have some very big tasks and we often don't know if these things are achievable in certain times so this team is to ensure there are no major blockers and the work can be realistically achieved uh, this process also allows us to scope work and try to get the most of our time when choosing our developers and sysadmin and who will be working on which project so that we dedicate the people according to their interests and skills. Uh, main focus has been to reduce the likelihood of the project not being completed as the issues can be flagged before the main work starts. The way we do is before the initiatives are decided or prioritized, we do it in a two weeks workflow for two weeks. Some people, depending on again interest and what they want to work on, they take the task and they do a proof of concept uh, it can, it can be a full-fledged proof of concept or in terms of recommendation, suggestions, and finding out the issues. And they work with stakeholders and provide initiative teams with guidelines on how to proceed with these things. As I said, the main task is to identify the major blockers and see if, if it can be achieved in time or not. And so far, our team has looked into data normal, data gripper, and different monitoring and metric solutions on what we could use. Also, we worked on PDC replacement research it was a huge project and we wanted to see what is the best way to dissect it or keep it, upgrade it. Uh, Federal messaging notification replacement research has also been done by that. And the latest one is improving reliability of mirrors count me script, which gives stats. If you see Matthew's state of Federal project and it has all these graphs, it comes from there. So our team also undertook that. So yeah, as you see the ARC team does the investigation work on the initiative proposed to CPE team. Cool. So uh, the the early life cycle of an initiative kind of looks like this. Um, now bear in mind, obviously, we only have a half hour, right? So this is the TLDR version. Uh, we've included a link in the bottom right hand side of the slide there if you want to look at it and get you know, more specifics and more information. So once a ticket's been filed uh, into the repo, it's reviewed by the project owner and the team um, against their mission statement. Uh, once all the kind of T's have been crossed and I's have been dotted, it moves to the ARC team um, for their investigation. So just like Vipal was saying a couple of slides ago, um, once it's got the thumbs up from them, it uh, moves to a wider team for technical requirements, establishing what deliverables there can be, and then feed that back to the stakeholders um, in terms of what the team uh, can achieve for them. There we go next. Perfect. So 
usually we have eight initiatives uh, from the backlog that get taken into the quarterly planning uh, where the following stakeholders are, are present um, so they discuss and vote on what work to take on uh, based on the information gathered for each initiative by you know the previous um arc process so we've got both the fedora and cento s community representatives uh, we've got the cpe team itself obviously uh, we have the cpe management uh, and we'll have the rel business unit representatives in there as well and um, you can also see there some of the initiatives and projects and stuff both completed by the team in the last six months and stuff that we're currently working on uh, so the bottom three are the uh, the current ones so the metrics for apps uh, data nomad data gripper and then the dnf counting improvements i'll take the infrastructure and release engineering parts uh, and mentioned about we have new initiatives and we have application maintenance and there's infrastructure and release engineering we have a lot of infrastructure. As you can see, Fedora has physical systems, virtual systems. CentOS has some more of it. We constantly get more donations, or we keep on boarding new ones for requirements. And they all require some work. So infrastructure and release engineering are your go-to person where community interacts with them. If you have any issues, you notice in infrastructure and you want to talk to us, these are the people who will be solving those and will be discussing day-to-day, -day, trying to keep the fires down. And we do regular maintenance, patches, security updates, making sure all the applications are working in good state. And something recently we are trying to work on are mini initiatives. We have small amount of work. They are not full-fledged initiative as in they won't require three months of time and not five developers and three sysadmins, but are important. And they can also be from backlogs or documentation fixes. So we are trying to work on mini initiatives as part of infrastructure and release engineering team where they can come and they can work on these things either say on Fridays in their own, well, not in their own time, but on certain time where we have, where not all CPE team members work on the initiative, they, they get so certain time to work on their own thing. Or they just talk to their managers and book a time slot, a sprint of a week or two to finish those things. So these mini initiatives are really exciting. And infrastructure and release engineers, as I said, they mainly work on the tickets that community members open on. You can see it on pagear.io slash Fedora infrastructure for Fedora focused things, CentOS infra on CentOS related things, and Relenge for release engineering work. And on average, every week, I just glanced over it, and this is a rough number 22 issues per week uh, are being solved by infra and Relenge team. So uh, we are everywhere almost. So uh, we've got a, a CPE team a member on nearly every continent. Uh, now each pin doesn't represent a specific person, but rather a location where there's at least one person. Uh, so you can see there we've got people from uh, the west coast of the US all across to the east. We've got Brazil, we've got Ireland, Belgium, France, Spain, Germany, the Czech Republic, Poland, I'll be hung if I'm after forgetting anybody, uh, down to uh, Pune and uh, Bengaluru in India, uh, and then across to Japan, uh, and one person uh, down under on the east coast of Australia. Uh, shout out to Vipul, by the way, for the nice upside down pin. It was a good touch. <laughs> so that's Ryan. Uh, so in the last six months, uh, we've had seven new additions to the team um, across a combination of interns, uh, full-time engineers, um, and on Monday this week, we had our, uh, our newest manager join, so shout out to Julia. Uh, that brings a total to 36 members today, um, with more to join soon, uh, so make sure you keep an eye out for, for updates and stuff on, on those openings as well. And hey, I see a lot of people asking for employees in Africa. So if you know someone and if you can refer them, just let us know when we have the opening because we'll have, we'll obviously update the community places of things. Uh, it would be great if you can let us know and I'm, I'm sure managers would be happy to see that. Absolutely. Yeah, and how do you communicate with us? What a segue. So on IRC, on Libra chat, we are on Red Hat CPE. If you want to talk to management side of things and how the team interacts, how the team performs, our workflows, things like that. But if you want to talk specific to Fedora infrastructure, uh, it would be Fedora admin where we are available and Fedora apps for our applications things. 
So you, you can talk to us on IRC and we have, if you want to propose new initiatives, as Anne said, community members propose an initiative, we take it, we prioritize it, we do some research on it and depending on how important we think and if it fits our mission statement, we take those initiatives on. You can propose initiatives on the link there, pagio.io CPE initiative proposal. And infrastructure issues can be filed on federal infrastructure. It's difficult for us because of time zones and we are working on certain things. People keep changing different initiatives and things. So if you see any issue in infrastructure, we always recommend opening a ticket. That way we can track or someone else can help if the major person you think would be able to solve it are busy. And for CentOS related things, it's CentOS Infra. And something new that I'm very excited to share, uh, we are about to coming, uh, we are coming next week is monthly social hours with CPE. I know I love to get on a call with Ifa, and I'm sure a lot of community members do. And pub quizzes are always the thing, but this is a place where you can come and talk to CPE management, ask questions on how we perform, and just discuss what's our future, how do we, uh, how are we going to, to handle certain projects, and. This will be a little bit technical side of our Fedora social arts that we have generally. And this will be just talk to your CP engineers and product owners and management side of things. Not everyone will join, but depending on requirement and interest and time zones, you'll see different faces from CPE there. More about it, it's again, it's an informal place where everyone is welcome to discuss what's new in CPE, uh, more infrastructure and applications. One thing that I have seen a lot, especially website and application, uh, the new objective that we have in council. There's a lot of historical knowledge in CPE, old time Fedora members who have worked on this application that are untouched for quite a long time. So if you want to discuss those, you are more than welcome there. And what are the initiatives that are upcoming and how are we going to prioritize it? You can get to know things there and generally just see, because CPE is also part of Fedora community who happens to work as their day job. You also get to meet everyone from there. The first one we are kicking off is at 1600 UTC on August 10th at the link that you see on slide. Look out for updates. We'll post it on discussions.fp.fedoraproject.org, also probably mailing list for the first time. And we have a Fedocal uh, event already created that I'll share after this slide, uh, uh, sorry, after this talk. So do join us there and it will be fun to talk and so that you get to know more of us. And, and up to you this one. Yes. Um, so you may have seen uh, my email on the devil lists the other day um, with the link to the feedback survey. So we've changed the cadence uh, on it to once every six months. Um, so also just want to take this opportunity to encourage everybody um, to complete the survey. If you've had sort of like any sort of interactions with the CPE team, it can be uh, from just reading the updates the whole way through filing tickets or speaking directly with us. Um, the feedback is both hugely valuable and appreciated uh, because it allows us to keep improving where, where you want us to. Um, you can see the link um, to the survey on that slide as well. Um, on the next slide, uh, I'll show you one of the specific examples uh, of where we used uh, the feedback to make a change uh, with positive effect. So in Q2 of last year, uh, we had some good scores um, in terms of engagement and whether or not uh, you guys felt that the team was doing a good job. Uh, we also knew that you know, we could improve and wanted to improve uh, for, for all of you guys. So specifically around communication, we looked at where you said uh, you wanted to get your information from us or you wanted um, to get more information from us. Uh, so as you can see there, vast majority of people um, were already reading the emails or wanted emails. Uh, a little less in, you know, in terms of blog posts, but still solid percentage. Uh, all the way down to the PO office hours and the Tiger board, which came in dead last. So. We pretty much stopped the tiger board immediately. Uh, we reduced the PO office hours um, so that we could then put more time, effort, and information into the weekly emails and the blogs. Uh, and then you can see six months later, there's nearly a 5% increase in both the engagement and the, the job well done scores. Um, without the feedback from that survey, it wouldn't have been possible uh, to redirect our efforts like as cleanly as we did. Uh, and I think the results there obviously speak for themselves. So this is one last shameless plug. Please, please <laughs> do the survey again this time around. Um, or if you've not done it before, uh, please, please do it this time. Um, that's, that's it. Um, 
in terms of the presentation. So yeah, thanks for joining us today. Um, hopefully it gave you a better insight and understanding into the CPE team, sort of who we are, what we do, um, and how you can continue helping us uh, to be successful both with and, and for you. Yeah, and I have shared the link to our survey in chat there. Do go ahead and take it. Uh, if you know who CPE is and if you have a little bit of relation to development and infrastructure side of things, you are our audience. We want to know how you feel that. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the chat or Q&A. And we are here for next five to 10 minutes. We are lightning quick. So uh, if you have any questions, we would love to answer that. It's almost like we might have practiced our presentation ahead of time, might have. Yeah, we, we did think that it will be better to interact more if you have any questions, because this was just a half an hour, half an hour talk. And my neighbors are also very excited about this talk. If you can hear them, I'm not sure. <laughs> I wish I knew the language needs. So, uh... oh yeah, they're very noisy, Julia. If you want to hire our neighbors, yeah, I'm sure they'll go to every meeting. It's almost like Whipple, but more powerful version in terms of decreasing outcome of a meeting. Vipple can't move his his neighbors. I normally have a noisy person in the room with me, which is my cockatiel, who has been uh, strategically placed in another room for the duration of this presentation. Because whether you find me interesting or not, him screaming over me, less interesting. The team already get enough of that without everybody else exposed to it as well. Yeah. Uh since no one is asking questions, oh, there, there are some q and I was about to highlight one thing. You can go and see when our CPE, the URL there, and you can see a lot of people. I'm, I'm sure there are some new people that I need. we need to add on the website there, but you can see how many time zones and where we are at what time. You can see all of us there. And again, there are these links there if you want to go and read more about infrastructure and lease engineering or initiatives. Uh, you can go on these links to read more of them. And oh, we have a question: How to get started in uh, in development in Fedora? That's a great question, and I love to answer these. Unfortunately, this is not really in scope of CPE, but I would recommend go to Fedora Join or ping me once I'm done with this presentation, and I can help you. I can give you some of the resources. Fedora Join is this great special interest group who help newcomers to Fedora start contributing. And yeah, we would love to help you with that. But this is not CPE specific, so I, I, I won't go into that right now. <laughs> 